Good evening. If you're hoping to take advantage of Indiana's school voucher program, you'll have more of a chance to do that this coming year. 15,000 vouchers will be available for the second year of the statewide program. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth headed out to an informational session on the program at Emmaus Lutheran School in Fort Wayne tonight, and he joins us now with details on year two. Well, Mark and Heather, the 15,000 vouchers are double the amount available from this past school year. While the voucher program was controversial in the beginning, some are pleased with the results so far. The Indiana School Voucher Program was designed to expand over a three-year period. Last year was the start of the program. The exact total is 3,919, um, and that's the, the first year the largest number of vouchers issued, and that's in the nation. That's first year of the program, our, our Lutheran schools really kind of dipped their toe in. They really didn't um, dive in nearly to the extent of some of the other schools. Some of that was just due to the timing of the passing of the legislation. So. Um, this year will be, a, will be a big difference. The 18 Lutheran schools in the area expect close to 150 vouchers this year compared to nearly 75 last school year. The vouchers are called choice scholarships by the state's Department of Education. They give parents of low-income families an option in education. The parents are using this choice scholarship. They are seeing it as an opportunity to give their children you know, a, a broader um, so to speak, just more diversity in education. They're seeing this as a viable option and jumping on it. Right now, parents have claimed 5,000 of the 15,000 vouchers available for the upcoming school year. But during the 2013-14 school year, there will no longer be a cap on the number of vouchers given out. Schools are having to compete, you know, and they are stepping up to that challenge. For a student to qualify for a voucher, he or she must have been enrolled one year in a public school or have received a voucher last year. Plus, must meet income guidelines for a family of four. Total household income must be $64,000 or less. I think the key thing to really remember is just, you know, being a resident of Indiana and living in a household that's at or below the household income limits. Parents who believe their children qualify for a voucher are supposed to first enroll or re-enroll in a school that is part of the voucher program and then apply for the voucher. You can find the list of schools in the voucher program by clicking on the story over on Wayne.com. Okay, thanks, Randy. A man is